Good morning or good afternoon, actually, here at the time of this recording. Welcome back to our virtual classroom, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are going to be going over um, writing expressions. That is our 25th lesson, uh, SB 11-3. Quick note before we even begin, uh, if you haven't done the assignment yet, please note the fact that we're only doing numbers 9 and 12. We're only doing numbers 9 and 12. So don't worry about 5, 7, and 14 at this point. So again, we're only doing numbers 9 and 12. So writing expressions. Remember that in math, we're able to describe certain situation using mathematical expressions. And so that's what we're going to continue to do. We're going to express stories or situations, scenarios using mathematical language. And so we want to familiarize ourselves with different terms that might mean different operations. Uh, certain terms in, in a passage um, are going to mean addition, some of them mean subtraction, some will mean multiplication, and some will mean um, division. And so, uh, again, it is important to familiarize ourselves with some of those terms. Uh, so at this point, I do recommend that you pause this video if you haven't copied these down yet. Uh, please pause the video, copy them, and then uh, and then continue as I go on to explain them. All right, all right. Assuming that you've copied these down already, let us begin with addition. In addition, um, you'll find terms such as sum. Uh, you'll find terms such as more than, plus, greater than, increased by. All of these terms uh, imply addition. All right. Now, subtraction is just a tad bit more complicated, uh, and you'll see why in a second. Firstly, you will see terms such as difference. So if you have two different altitudes and it says, what is the difference of these altitudes? They're asking you to subtract them. Change, uh, the change in something, for example, what, uh, if you have two temperatures and they say, what was the change in temperature? That means subtract them. Uh, decreased by, okay, so uh, the opposite of increasing is decreasing. Minus always means subtraction. However, I want you to pay special attention to these two terms over here. Fewer than and less than. Fewer than and less than. Well, yes, generally speaking, these do mean subtraction. Uh, they actually mean that it's subtraction after whatever follows. It means subtraction after whatever follows. In other words, if you had something like 7 less than 20, that actually means that we are going to take seven away from 20, seven less than 20. And now if you just read it straight across, it might seem like we're doing seven less than 20, but that would be incorrect, ladies and gentlemen. That would be seven decreased by 20 or seven minus 20, but no, anytime you have less than or fewer than, that actually means that we're gonna take this part and we're gonna do it after whatever follows. So it's gonna be seven less than whatever follows. All right, so that is less than and fewer than. And you'll see a few examples with that uh, in a little bit. Let us continue with multiplication. Multiplication, uh, remember the word product always means multiplication, especially when dealing with uh, fractions, the word of, uh, like two thirds of something, one half of something, five sevenths of something, that usually means multiplication. You'll find uh, phrases such as as much, as many, or uh, obviously the word times, that means multiplication. Anytime you're doing the same thing over and over again, that means multiplication, ladies and gentlemen. Furthermore, you might, furthermore, you might also find terms such as twice. Twice is a very specific multiplication term, meaning that you're going to multiply something times two, uh, same as if you were to double something. That also means uh, multiply it by two. So that's multiplication. Uh, Next, we have division, which obviously the word quotient always means division. But really, anytime we're cutting something into equal parts, splitting something equal into equal parts, grouping something into different uh, groups of the same size, anytime we are separating things into equal quantities or, or uh, organizing things into equal quantities. So again, that cutting, that splitting, all of that means division. So just be mindful of that whenever you're reading a passage. Lastly, let's not forget about, um, about exponents. If you have the term squared, that always means that you're going to take uh, whatever it is that you're squaring. For example, 3 squared would be 3 to the power of 2. 
That's what squared means. You're raising it to the power of two. Five squared would be five to the power of two, which again, that just means that you're, you have five times five. In other words, there's two fives and you're multiplying them together. Here you have two threes and you're multiplying them together. Seven squared would be seven times seven. There's two sevens and you're multiplying them together. That is, uh, that is what squared means. Um, cubed is another one, but um, we, we can address that more once it comes up. And so what we're going to be doing now, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to walk you through number nine. Um, and and uh, and just to see how we can apply these words and change those into uh, mathematical expressions. So I'm actually going to go to our textbook. And uh, let's zoom in a little bit right here. And let's begin with 9a. 9a. So 9a says six more than a number. Six more than a number. So we know that more than is the key word right there. More than means addition. So that means that I'm going to take six and I'm going to add a certain number. Now, I don't know what that number is, but if you remember from earlier this week, whenever we have uh, an unknown number, an unknown quantity, it can always use a variable. So you can use a letter or a symbol to depict that. So I'm going to use uh, the letter N. Uh, you could have used any letter, any, any symbol, really, as long as you understand that I am adding six and a specific number, unknown number at this point. All right, let's continue with B. This says three times a number. Now, obviously, the key word there is times, which means multiplication. So I'm going to take three and multiply it times the number. So in essence, I'm taking three and multiplying it times some number. I'm going to put R in this case. But remember that whenever I have a number times a variable, you can also write it without the multiplication symbol. So I can write 3R. That also means three times that specific number. That is a way of, of depicting that as well. Let's go to C. C is the quotient of a number and seven. Quotient means division. The quotient of a number and seven. So we are going to take a number, uh, for example, the number, uh, I, we don't know what the number is, so I'm going to use a letter. And we're going to divide that number, whatever number that is, in by seven. So P divided by seven. You can also have P over seven. Next, we have four less than five times a number. Four less than five times a number. Four less than five times a number. So there's a lot there, is there not? Let's focus on the less than. Remember that when, we, when we're talking about less than, when we're looking at our notes, when we're looking at our notes, we have less than. That, that does mean subtraction. However, that means subtraction following whatever's next. So that four less than, we're going we're gonna to wait on that. Let's do five times the number first. So that is going to be five times a specific number. I'm just going to use the letter N. And then we're going to take four away from that. That is four less than whatever. So we, we need that number four, uh, that number first, whatever five times that number is. And then we're going to take we're going to do four less than that. So we're going to take four away from that. If you were to write down uh, four and then say, oh, less than five times a number, this would be incorrect, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this would actually be four decreased by five times a number or four minus five times a number. So that is incorrect. That is different. This is four less than. So that's going to be, we're going to subtract after whatever follows. Uh, five times a number. So that would be D. Next, let's go ahead and do E, which is a number squared decreased by two. So we have a certain number, and we're going to square that number, and then we're going to decrease it by two. All right, so let's just pick a number. Uh, let's do X, and I'm going to square it, and then I'm going to decrease it, subtract, that means subtraction, by two. 
Notice I'm just taking it a little bit at a time. So a number, the number was, I, I chose just a, a variable. I don't know what that number is. So I'm going to do X. And I'm going to square it. And that's to the second power. Decrease means subtraction by two. So I'm going to subtract two from that. Finally, let's go ahead and do F. We have twice a number, twice a number increased by 16. Again, twice means multiplying by two, right? So two times uh, a certain number, I don't know what that number is. So I'm going to do two times B and we're going to increase it. We're going to add 16. So I understand that this is a tad bit confusing, ladies and gentlemen, but please, uh, I encourage you to pause this video. Look at those again, especially as you go on to number 12, which is um, the, the other problem that we have to do in our homework today. It's the same exact thing, uh, but just go ahead and... Uh, and, and use that same logic, use those same terms. Come, uh, I encourage you to refer back to your notes to see what it is that we are doing. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you found this helpful and I will see you uh, next class.